we all know how furious the community is because of the new Unity fee. But in the latest hours, different companies and content creators are firing back. In the previous video, we analyzed different tweets from the official Twitter account of the Good Dogs creators, so you should check that video before watching this one, link down below. Today, we'll be checking out how the community is trying to overcome this situation. And now, let's start. So firstly, we're gonna talk about some game studios that are disappointed by Unity. Basically, we're gonna be analyzing more tweets specifically about this Twitter account. You can check yourself. Okay, so basically, um, this uh, account in Twitter is basically um, retweeting and posting a lot of stuff uh, related to how game studios are reacting to this new unity fee for example here we can see unity disappointed and we have here i don't know if this is a game developer or a game company and well as you can see here we see a lot a lot a lot of uh, these related things for example here with this new hashtag cancel runtime fee unity okay and again here we have lots of studios and companies that are posting this stuff and well, again, if we continue scrolling down, we can see a lot of these posts. And well, as you can see, there is just one or two posts. There are thousands of these kind of posts. And well, as you can see, even some <laughs> funny posts uh, are also here. And well, as you can see here, we can continue scrolling down years and years and we are always gonna... Uh, see some new uh, studio that let's say has been disappointed by unity also as you can see here it's quite a new account um i mean yeah it it's been uh, like a, a year but uh, the most recent post as you can see are in the latest hours uh, or days so that's quite amazing now next twitter i'd like uh, to analyze again is the one from one of good Dogs creators uh, in the past video that i've talked about uh, some minutes ago in the introduction we analyzed uh, until here i believe it was so if you want to see um how i checked out all these tweets here super interesting about how one of the creators uh, advice uh, Unity developers about how to migrate to Goodjot, well, you should definitely check that video. But well, uh, today uh, we're gonna be analyzing the latest Twitters, as you can see, on September um, 17. Okay, so firstly, uh, here he reposted uh, one guy that was trying out the Goodjot mobile version. And well, here the important thing is here, it's good joke, I can use it whenever, and of course, wherever, because you can just have it in your phone. And as you may already know, good joke is the only engine that can actually run a, on a mobile phone. Of course, there are more engines or similar softwares that can run also in a mobile, but, but I believe good joke is the best engine you can definitely use in a mobile. Also, we can see here another repost. My favorite thing about Good Dogs so far is how fast it is. Yeah, because for example, in Unity, when you want to create a, or open a, a game, it may take a couple of seconds, maybe a couple of minutes, but in Good Dogs, in just a couple of maybe five, six seconds, you can create and open a project. Here, we can also see that four Good Dogs projects are on the top page of GitHub Trending. Or well, we can see here how the Dot engine go uh, <laughs> let's say, in Google Trends these past weeks. As you can see, the um, blue line is Kujo, then we have Unreal and Unity. And well, as you can see here, it really goes up. Even as you can see, it was even more popular than Unreal. Let's see here, for example, incredible. And well, here, as you can see, another repost. And that we were talking about in the past video about the Good Joke Asset Store. Um, that here it says, 
since we got the foundation going we've been trying to get it up and running but there are many things to figure out before we can make it available to everyone but well at least um, they are working on on implementing this as soon as possible on the other hand we have this uh, collective in order to support the gaming community and as you can see they are turning off all iron source and unity ads monetization until new conditions are reviewed and well here we can find a very big letter well that's it's not that big um but well basically it talks about the uh, installation fee and everything about this matter and well what's i believe the most important thing here is that at, at the end of this letter in the supporters we can find a lot of companies that are supporting uh, this letter i'm sure you will know here some company for sure and this one is Buru. well i believe Buru is i don't know if the most most um massive um company when it comes to mobile games at least but uh, it must be one of the top uh, mobile game development companies as you can see uh, they have like 6, bi 6 billion of downloads in EOS and Android more than 200 games uh, 150 million monthly active users and a lot of stuff um, so yes uh, uh, they are one of the most known companies and well, we also have some other companies that I personally know for example we have Azure Games, uh, Crazy Labs right here we have also uh, Homa or something like that I don't know how to pronounce it and some others that I know and you probably uh, know some of these companies but well the important thing here is that a uh, super big and uh, massive communities are supporting this kind of letters why because uh, their business model is completely affected by this thing of the new unity fee and well as you can see <laughs> there are a lot of public supporters and a lot of total game installs finally i'd like to share with you some content creators uh, that have been talking about in their youtube channels about this uh, matter first we have um, this one Jonas okay you probably know this guy right here and well as you can see here he shares his quick thoughts cause uh, well his community uh, keep asking okay and as you can see it's quite a long post um, about how unity is gonna impact his uh, project Thronefall uh, and how this will impact future projects and a lot of other stuff then uh, we also have uh, GM k okay that you may, may know also this channel and again is a post um talking about this unity fee in this post they usually give their own point of view they also say what unity should do um or something like that like that and here well it's pretty interesting here at the end he says i've never been so embarrassed to use a piece of software that's just uh, an amazing statement then we also have a uh, game dev tv um who had made about um two videos talking about uh, this unity fee and well you probably know this channel because of their courses which are amazing by the way uh, so i believe it was a good channel and videos to recommend you watching then we also have game from scratch who made like we have here uh like one two three four five six videos about this topic so again uh, i really encourage you to uh, watch all this video because he makes uh, some amazing points about this problematic and shows more information that i have shown here although he shows some information that uh, i have um, showed here in my video well he talks a lot about other things and we also here in stay at home dev i really like in particular this video unity thinks you are a sucker um because he makes the point here in this video i really recommend you to watch it anyway that um as unity 
uh, have created this fee they can increment this fee as you will know here now the the fee is like a uh, 0.20 uh, per install but well they can uh, increment it so well that's why he in a way advises you to change to open source game engines like good dot and well all his channel talks about good dot so it's really an interesting channel to check out and then uh, i also like these two videos about this other man right here lost relic games Firstly, well, five days ago, he uploaded this video talking about uh, the problematic in general. And, well, here uh, recently he posted another video about the topic, uh, about how everything continued. And, well, uh, he was super angry, of course, in all these videos. And uh, were, again, amazing videos to watch. And I really recommend you watching them because they will give you a lot of information. Well, I believe this is the most important stuff in the latest hours. As soon as there is some other interesting tweet, account, video, a new collective, etc., I'll be announcing it. So if you want to be the first, first person in knowing the latest news about this Unity fee problematic, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications. That being said, see you in the next one, remember to like, subscribe and comment, see you in the next one and bye bye.